Well, these are new. Um, looks like we're finally getting some Boris bikes. That is so cool. <laughs> we're actually looking. Uh, ah, here. Mm. Oh, that's that way. Peeps move it here with another Filmic Fridays movie musings kind of thing. I don't know what day I'm going to release this on. Who cares? <laughs> Back in Nottingham, as you can see behind me from um, TFN. Um, unfortunately, we're on quite a busy road down here. I thought it'd be a bit quieter today, but unfortunately not. But yeah, a load of you are asking about um, doing a thoughts video. It seems to be the thing to be doing. Um, Post TFN, everyone's been doing them. Um, it's been a while since I've made a bot video, to be honest. Been too busy with Team Reflect to do with movies and things, but yeah, it was uh, it was great. Again, third year doing it, second year as staff. Year one last year, 2018, uh, was great in terms of the experience, but post it, it was a bit bit pants because there, there were. They had uh, a third party wanted to do all the editing and things. We were just doing the capturing and they basically didn't do anything. So we're going to be using it this year instead because you can't really tell. The setup's pretty much the same except for the forge moving. Which, if you're watching David, the forge moving to the main room, brilliant idea. Because there's some great indie people in there and they're getting way more attention. So thank you for that. And speaking of the Fudge, I can't remember their names off the top of my head because, you know, memory issues. Oh, by the way, this is from this is from TFN. <laughs> I can't remember their names as memory issues, but I'll put them on, on the screen right here and some footage on your screen right now. Um, we interviewed them um, as part of this sort of BTS interviews kind of a thing. And I was uh, the, the wonderful ladies, I think one or me, both of them are LGBT. And I was telling them about how my daughter herself has just come out at Knott's Pride and uh, she's a aspiring illustrator and she got any tips and she gave me some tips to little tips video to give to give the cheeky parrot which is pretty cool um, and they also gave her a calendar with some of their artwork on it and a lesbian ratchet comic book with, uh, with a special message inside for her which is just oh, thank you just like uh, you know I guess one or both of you know, know what it's like when you just come out and you're a bit nervous about it and all that, so just stuff like that and showing that people people aren't bothered and it's, it's okay. Brilliant stuff. Absolutely love it. <laughs> in uh, creative slash uh, gay village in Nottingham. My turf. <laughs> I think that's my take home from this year's TFN in general though. Uh, not just the awesomeness of like the girls who, who sent the stuff for Cheeky Parrot, but just witnessing just the, the community and the awesomeness that, that goes on in general. But it, it was such a privilege just to see and witness through a lens that's just like everyone being happy, everyone getting along you know the cosplayers the passion behind it people looking out for each other you know you see people from a distance and they're all like oh i haven't seen you for a year and cuddling everything it was great it's such a great community um and i've been doing this for years i've been filming expos since i was 20 and i'm now in my 40s so trust me when i say this is the best community of any expo anywhere it's brilliant everything's so chilled it's not not so hair in your face and it's just nice yeah and that's just a credit to the community really and you know my thoughts on life i said this in the previous vlog but uh i have two rules do no intentional harm whether that be emotionally physically or whatever 
don't be a dick. It's not hard. And the whole community at this event embodies that. Um, from what I witnessed, at least, uh, in my humble opinion, I think it's I think it's lovely. It's a great community. Everyone seems to get along. You go on the TFYTC and the people going to TFN forums on Facebook, and people are just being nice and polite with each other. From the for the most part that I've seen, yeah, well done everyone. Well done to the organisers. Well done to the uh, to the guests for being so open and you know. There's none of that, oh, speak to my agent if you want a photo kind of crap. They just, hey, how are you doing? Hey, take a selfie or whatever. Brilliant. Well done, everyone. Thank you for being nice. Speaking of nice, let's get back to the studio. I'll show you some of my uh, pickups, shall I? Bah! There we go. New set. Oh, I've got like permanent mics. We've got lights. We've got things over here. We've got a, a snoring dog, you know. Come on up, Rory. Come on. Come on in. World, Rory, Rory, world. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Good boy. Yes, Rory, our uh, assistant's dog, uh, well, my assistant dog, um, comes to the office with me, so you may hear him every now and again. So, what is left, obviously, is the hall. Uh, starting with the hat I'm wearing, this is the TFN like, official hat. Stitch, very good quality actually. I don't normally go for these snapbacks. I know they're very popular with people who wear hats. I only wear a hat because I'm going bold and you know the sun hits my face and all that. Um, and when I'm droning, I like to have something covering my eyes a little bit to keep the sun out. But yeah, this is nice. I like it. It's all right. But yeah, that's the hat. <laughs> um, where to start? Where to start? Where to start? Um, We'll go for the non-transforming robots um, thing because one of the hall, a lovely Dean Stead of our team reflector, gave me this, um, which is very kind of him. Um, this is the uh, Canon Sigma DC 17 to 50 2.8 lens, and it's 2.8 all the way through, weirdly enough, which is very rare for a lens. Those who are camera nerds, um, it's a 17 to 50, but it's stuck at 17. Um, we can focus, but we can't do that. Now, which is no good to him as a, as a stills photographer, but for me, absolutely perfect on the YouTube lens. And you'll see this on um, the official videos for TFN, which Nick Card is currently editing right now. Um, a lot of it was shot on this, so hopefully it looks good for you guys. Yeah, thanks Dean. On to those wonderful uh, artists I told you about, Cosmic Dancers, that's their card right there. Um, Cosmic Dancer there, uh, Billy, um, and uh, her, the other lady's name isn't on here. Yeah, I think it's Sean, I want to say. Sorry, I'm trying to read your, your, your signature here. Um, but they did this lovely um, lesbian ratchet comic. Hopefully some of you guys picked that up. A TF Drift, Drift and Ratchet. Um, but if you look up Acro Station on Twitter, that's her, and then Billy is uh, Cosmic Danger Zone on Twitter. Absolutely wonderful, and they also, for free, gave me that with some messages inside as well, which is a calendar of all their artwork and things, and some beautiful things in here. Um, so for example, that's Cosmics, which is very nice. Thanks, girls. Um, this has meant the world to my daughter. She's, she's read that several times. This is on her, her homework desk. Um, She's thrilled, so thank you for that. Very, very, very kind of you. On to the bots. Um, oh yeah, I also got, I can't remember where I got this from. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, if I find out, I'll put it on the screen. But it's a homemade Soundwave um, badge, and I tend to wear hats with a badge just there, so that's going on my head. Yay. And yeah, onto the transforming robots. First thing I did, first door as you walk in, got my payment for doing, uh, for doing the, media. Um, this is the Siege Soundwave as you can see, well you can't see because they're just out of shot uh, just up here. We have some. We have every Soundwave that I own and this guy, these guys are going on here and the tapes as well. We've got Ravage and Laserbeak there. These are great. This is the first Siege one I've had out of this, this latest line. Um, 
and it's great. I don't know what about the battle damage. I, I think it looks quite nice, to be honest, because I haven't got the skills to do that myself. So it's good enough for me, this tampoed battle damage. I kind of like it. And he's a lovely toy. Alt mode, uh, it's a spaceship because we say it is kind of thing. I know some people have rushed to defend it when I talked about it on the forum for people who have gone to TFN forum. Um, I disagree with you guys who've defended it. I, I, yeah, but I always displayed him in robot mode anyway. And there is a fan mode uh, boombox, which I managed to get him into, which isn't bad. But yeah, he's just a wonderful sound, but he's very G1-ish. I love him. Oh, wonderful. So yeah, that's my payment for doing the videos. I then went up to the charity store. No skies, oh my god, uh, you'll see on the TFN, I can't show you the audio from this video, but there's some on screen right now of them, you know, on stage going yay. Um, these guys, I think it was, they need to get they need to get a certain amount of money, I think it was 5,000 or it might have been 50,000, I think it was 5,000. And they were a few thousand away, like an hour before the whole thing was closing, and then they just smashed it, so well done guys. Biggest store you've had so far, and yeah, I got this. I've never had this one. This is the um, Cybertron Soundwave, as you can see. You'll see a you'll see a theme actually for all these bots. I'm actually pairing my um, collecting down because Team Reflect is doing okay now, and we need to start investing in some new gear and stuff like that. So I'm down to sell all my other stuff, and I've decided just to keep the sound waves, maybe a couple of blasters. Um, and, you know, reinvest in, in Nick and Dean and myself. So, yeah, um, I love this. I have the blaster mold that I found in the charity shop for a pound, uh, but it didn't have any of the, I think these are supposed to be bombs, and he's got all three here, he's fully complete, he's got the key on the back, and he's even got, I didn't know, he even comes with a little laser beat, which is just, oh, I love it. The way this one transforms, it's so cool, and it's uh, obviously the, um, inspiration for the movie verse laser beak that one with his turbines in his wings and again he's on my sound wave shelf up there that goes along the side of my editing suite um hi cybertron sound wave i like him very nice moving on the only non sound wave related thing i got was retgar legends um scout class whatever you want to call him but I like bikes and I like mini bots and I can't afford to do the third party um, ones like Nick Hardy's got, although I want all of them. I'm gonna wait until he's turned his back and I'm gonna nick them all, frankly, but shh, don't tell him. Um, but yeah, I, want, I think once we're earning a bit more and we've, we've got a few more films under our belt, I'll be uh, replaced, getting all the mini bot versions. But for now, I've got Rekgar, Rekgar, should I say. I like having one of these legends on my desk when I'm editing over here because uh, uh, obviously I've, I've got a mental health issue with uh, PTSD and things and it causes my hands to shake and my knees to wobble and stuff. So having something just to play with, something simple, just to like, keep my hands busy so when I'm starting to get shakes and stuff and I can't edit very well I'll just play about with a desk bot. Um, so this is my therapy desk bot for the next few weeks I think. Um, but yeah he's lovely, I like him. Um, I like him in bike mode frankly, I do like bike formers. I may keep my bike formers as well as as well as well my sound waves. I don't know. Um, it's a tricky one, you know what it's like, any of you guys who own a small business and things it's 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 a balancing act between um, investment in yourself and your business and, you know, doing your bot thing. But yeah, that's Retgar. He's lovely. I like him a lot. Back onto the Soundwave stuff. And right on the first day that I was filming, I had a good chat with, with your man here on the bottom. Sorry, I did tell you at the time I'd forget your names, all of you. And it's nothing personal. I've just, you know... My symptoms make it a bit like Alzheimer's. It is what it is. Um, but he did me a blinding deal, a load of tape formers, and more specifically convention exclusive ones. So we've got Sting Thing here, which is great. These are the first convention exclusives I've got. Um, this is a tape that turns into a scorpion, as you, as you probably know. Uh, this one, I believe, where's the number? This is number 318 of 500. There you go. I might do a little mini review of this, but I mean, Sting Thing is as sassy as she is deadly, and it goes on. There's a massive um, bio on here. There's a lovely bio card. There's that like credit card thickness. 
really good quality actually. And then we've got Sting Thing herself, because she is a girl. And I'm a Scorpio, so I like it. I like this one. And I tell you, this makes up a little bit because it, it's a Tate bot, so it's a sound wave related thing. It's a scorpion, which is one of my favourite animals. And I was lamenting not having much money this year um, because of, you know, starting Team Reflector and everything. And they had several, like, mint or, you know, out of box, but with all the accessories, Scorpinox G1s. And I always wanted one of those as a kid. I always promised myself I wanted to get, get to 40 odd or whatever, and I've got a bit of spare cash that I'd buy one. And obviously I couldn't, because I couldn't justify that when we've got camera equipment to buy. So this is fine. This is a little scorpion here. You know, I got my scorpion fix and she turns into a tape and it's like proper G1 goodness on the tape. I love it. So yeah, I think that's actually my favorite one. I love mini bots and I love minions. That's why I love Soundwave so much. But yeah, that sting thing. And he also gave me Smackdown and Blackhawk. There you go. Um, Blackhawk being a bird, hawky kind of thing, and Smackdown being a gorilla monkey. Um, and these again are tape bots, and they combine to form something called Blackhawk Down, which is this little guy here. He's so tiny and wee! But he's pretty cool, and I think these are repaints, maybe? They're all black repaints from what I can make out from the back of the box. I don't know much about these guys, actually. Um, I think they're a convention exclusive from KFC, yeah. Yeah, Keith's Fantasy Club. Hands of Steel Summer 2013 Convention Exclusive. There it is. And again, like, like Sting Thing, you've got two credit card kind of things with the bios on the back. Um, and these guys are just lovely. And the tiny little tape bots. Uh, that's the gorilla. No, that, that's, that's, that's the bird, that's the gorilla. I'll show you on some B-roll now of them. And uh, yeah, they combine into this little robot -y dude. I think I'm gonna display them in gorilla and hawk mode though, because you can see the shelf uh, there, the little one. Uh, that, that little one just there, it's just off camera. Um, that's got all the tapes on it, and they're in their, you know, their, their tape alt mode. So I think I'm going to display these in Hawk and Gorilla mode. But these these are great. I love them. They're actually pretty decent quality, really. Not bad. Limbs are a little bit loose when you kind of, because it's all kind of spangly. But yeah, nice. I like it. I like combiners. And obviously I like sound wave, so there we are. And that's everything about TFN. Uh, yeah, it was good. I was a bit nervous because my PTSD symptoms have, um, have been pretty bad these last few months, um, truth be told. So I was worried how I'd cope with all the crowds. But like I said uh, back, back in the creative quarter there, it's so chilled and everything's all right. The, I'd say for those who haven't been, if you are like hardcore, hardcore, you won't mind. But if you, if you don't like pushing and shoving, there's a little bit of that just as the first doors open on the Saturday morning for the first half an hour because you get all the excitable people and then, you know, within half an hour to an hour, it all disperses evenly around the place and it's fine. So that'd be the only, that's the only thing I would have avoided had I had the choice, but I was filming them coming in. So it was, because I was concentrating on the camera screen, it, I was fine, it was okay. But yeah, um, it's not really that noticeable to most people, I don't think, it's just obviously because I'm hypersensitive to it, that's the bit I, you know, I wasn't keen on in the first half hour, but, no one else has that complaint, it's just me because I'm special. Like. <laughs> but it is chilled, it's wonderful, I love it. And the organisers are brilliant and I got to spend a lot more time with them this year. Um, I was more of like a fly in the wall documentary filmmaker last year, um, following them around. This time we're actually, you know, kind of felt like we were colleagues. Um, obviously Nick knows them very well. But yeah, Dean and I got to spend a lot more time with them because uh, Nick was working on the Saturday. Mostly me and Dean were working alongside them and they were wonderful. A big shout out to you, young lady, because you are awesome and you're so nice and it's your first year this year. And she's a fellow lovey. Um, I, I used to work in musical theatre, she's a theatre director. And she nailed it when she was doing uh, some interviews on stage and things. She was really nervous. I can tell you backstage she was really nervous and uh, you'll hopefully get to see that because she said it's fine to use but I can't show you on this because we at TFN has to show it first before I can. I, you know, you know how it is. Yeah, I think she was working with Peter a lot 
and seeing them two interact on um, social media in the last week has been really funny and <laughs> really nice. Look at them two are like best mates now. So yeah, apparently she's doing it next year, so well done you. And also, another highlight for me, big shout out to our Rekka cosplay, who we interviewed, that's on screen right now, um, or at least a snippet of that because he just showed what the community is all about. I can't wait to release that video because, oh man, he won the cosplay contest um, and then he's, uh, mostly know this story by now, those who didn't go might not have been keeping up, but yeah, he basically stopped everything in his tracks, music off, give me the microphone, and you know, because everyone thought it was being in character for, for the record character from the comics, and which which he was in a bit. But he was like, yeah, you don't see all the stuff that goes on behind the scenes, and I've got people that help, two or three people help me dress up, and everyone else has got, got crew behind the stage there that help them get in the costumes, and act as their eyes because they can't see very well and all that and you also don't see the passion and the love but you have seen it in this little girl who is black arachnia and uh, brings her up on stage and it goes that's yours that's not mine that's yours and yeah and, uh, the whole place just erupted it was brilliant enough that's a that's a memory that she's always going to remember and kind of almost at that age obviously i've got daughters some of you might have as well as we know at that age they're very like worried about what people think of them and stuff and and the the fact that the whole crowd was like saying it's okay to you know do what you want to do and be a cosplayer and be nerdy and all that it's fine it's great in fact and that kind of just solidified that for her, i think hopefully anyway um and especially encouraging like young women to get involved in the sort of geeky community more um that can only be a good thing. There's a lot of women this year, actually. It's gotten a lot, lot more 50-50, and fair play. Great for like my daughters, for example, to see that and to be encouraged by that. I, that's that's probably the highlight for me, I'd say, of that whole thing. That just that little scene just encapsulated everything that this community is about. Wouldn't you agree? I think so. Anyway, but that's only my opinion. What's yours? Let me know in the comments below, on Facebook, whatever you want to do. TFYTC, hi guys. Um, which is the Transforms YouTube community for those who aren't initiated. Look us up on Facebook. Let me know what you think. Um, I'll be letting you, you guys know what you think and what I think on your videos. Check out also um, Team Reflector alumni Nick Hardy because he is just about starting vlogging again. Um, I'd like to think it's my influence. <laughs> Although he did, it, he did it before, but it's been a few years. So he started vlogging again, he's just done his uh, TFN haul and thoughts video and he also asked the question, what toys have made you bleed? So head over to his video and leave in the comments like, what have you cut your finger on, what have you hurt? This this isn't a Transformers related injury, actually this is actually a toy related injury. I got a blade and cut off the top part of the knuckle there, the, the wrinkly part, like clean off near enough. It's just about growing back now. This was in a splint as you, you guys might have seen when I was on stage filming. Um, but being at home I'm just basically keeping it straight. It's, it's, it's fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. But yeah, head over to Nick's video. Um, I'll link a few more in the description if I can find them all. Um, and let's keep the love going. And I guess see you next year for my favourite line. And I can finally say this. It's based on TF Prime. Oh! Oh yes! The cartoon series that got me back into Transformers after being away for a few years. Oh, yes! Mm. In fact, I can't get that, that means I can't get them in my Prime toys either, because I've got to bring them to, to, to the expo and get them signed or something. Oh man! I'm not going to be able to sell anything at this rate, am I? Oh well. <laughs> it's alright, guys. You're I like to move it, move it, fit, fit.